Reporting at Cloudland, Kane O'Neill, News Channel 11 Sports. It was National Signing Day for high school athletes in basketball, baseball, golf, and cross country. We'll begin in Gate City where star Blue Devil player Matt McClung made it official this afternoon when he signed a national letter of intent with Georgetown. The six-foot guard who can jump out of the building had over 40 slam dunks last season while averaging close to 30 points, had over 30 offers. Georgetown, of course, is coached by basketball legend Patrick Ewing. He wants to bring it back to what it was, and it means a lot. You know, he showed up really early and was there as soon as I made my decommit. He keeps it real with you. He's just a very uh, transparent dude, and, um, you know, he wants to bring it back, like I said, and I'm just really looking forward to it. Hey, get seated this morning. Chance Taylor signed with the Tennessee Tech men's golf team. Taylor is the first Blue Devil to sign a Division I golf scholarship. This past season, Taylor won the Region 2D golf tournament and finished third overall at 2A state championship. There was a lot of ink spilled in Abingdon today, beginning with the baseball team, which had three players signed. Staying close to home will be Kevin Christie, who signed a national letter of intent with ETSU. His teammate, Thomas Francisco, is headed to East Carolina after he signed a national letter of intent with the Pirates and Cade Hungate is living a childhood dream by signing a national letter of intent with Florida State out of the ACC. I chose FSU because it was my dream school. Um, felt like it was the best fit for me. Um, I have a good relationship with the coaching staff. I just felt like it was overall the best fit. I mean, I've always wanted to go there. They've got what I want to study and Nice facility, the coaches are great, close to home. Went down to East Carolina on my visit. I really love the coaching staff they have down there. Um, I'm really loving the direction that the program is going into and you know, hopefully try to make it to Omaha. Also signing today with a D1 school from Abingdon was Grace Hess, who will play basketball for the Air Force. And from the Falcons cross country team, Carl Theus is heading to Knoxville, where he will run for the University of Tennessee. Three Hilltoppers put the pen to paper this afternoon, two heading to the same school for the same sport. David Bryant and Brandon Feathers continue their baseball careers at Radford. Bryant hit 362, 32 RBIs last season, earning all conference honors. Feathers struck out 56 batters, posting a 7 1 record this past season. All also named All-Conference, and Gabrielle Martis signed with Milligan to run cross-country and track. Martis won the Cherokee Invitational and Randy Smith Classic this season. She finished 25th overall at state, the best replacement or best placement of her career. And finally, at Hampton High School this morning, the Lady Bulldog Cheyenne Tooley signed a national letter of intent with Campbell University. So far in her career, Tooley has scored over 1,100 points and averaged eight rebounds per game. 